Hello everyone. The Saints cat can ensure that this is a legit direct and not an April Fool's joke again. As he is ready to inform everyone with the latest updates on the matchup for next month tournament and other project in the works as well as future projects. Let's start this off with the news going on with MFNM. We are almost at a full roster. Good day and I hope you all ready to check out what's been going on for Mashup, for next month. As you can see, we are down to 3 self-ID newcomers who ready to be announced before our final 4 fan suggested characters. Note that one of the self-ID character is still need some extra work in both artwork and trailer video which will be made with Gmod. Along with the artwork and trailers of the final four with their own personal mashup before announcement. Now let us look at some of the characters to see what they will bring. We'll check out three veteran and three newcomers to see what they got in store. Note that one of the veteran will have a change in source. Mei Lin Zhu, the former Overwatch scientist, now working in a honeydew beverage shop, is now ready to return to the competition for the second chance she been hoping to do better in. Providing some from Blizzard Studio and the games they have made or collab on, such as World of Warcraft, Diablo and of course Overwatch. She will also bring out music center around the cold tones of ice and snow in video games, whether it be a theme of a frosty character or a winter theme holiday level. She will also provide music from not only her hometown of China, but will also include music from the eastern area used in video games like Okami, Shenmue and many more traditional tunes. Sent the skeleton had been smashing up lately and now returning. This time solo without his brother by his side. Sent will provide some of his famous music from the Undertale universe. Including the sequel Delta Runes and many fan made alternate universe based on the Undertale universe. He will also now provide Smash Brothers music that originally created for Smash Brothers including Final Destination, Battlefield and many more. He will also perform some bone chilling mixes with music based on skeletons, either it be for bony characters or skeleton filled levels in video games. It should be worth noting that while one of the Undertale song play when facing Sands, I just want to say Do you set much mail mixes? Glob, formerly used to be known as the Glob Club Yako Lab, have been working as an agent of memes everywhere, and decided to return to compete for all meme old and new, fresh and dead. He will provide the most catchiest of meme music on the internet, from we are number one to Dispacito, all the way up to the Creeper on Man, Revenge Son from Minecraft. And like himself, he will give out music from the odd looking and strange creatures, like Metroid or the Destroy All Humans series. He will also provide songs of business related matter, including elevator music from video games. Beavis and Butthead, the two brain dead weirdo have walked into the tournament, requested by the Saints Cat Brother, they will rock out the show with some heavy metal music in video games, including soundtrack of the most metal game to have a metal song like Doom and Killer Instinct. They will also provide music based around the most stupidest characters in video game who tend to be full of themselves like Van Gabiki and Gruz. Mr. Hughes, also known as Triforce Films, have sang his way into the listing and now willing to share his voice in the tournament. 
providing music from his channel including the Saturday morning acapella, TV tunes acapella and even video game acapella for all your favorite duet mixes. He will also provide songs from cartoon shows from the 90s to the 2000s, such as the memorable DuckTales and Powerpuff Girls to the more obscure shows like Dumb and Dumber and The Masked Cartoon. He will also provide acapella from Smooth McGroove and video game lyrical music that's vocal only. No backup instrument, just voices. Joel, the latest player in the tournament, have joined in with his stand. Full of Joho power inside him, he will provide music of the most hidden and obscure bootleg games that slide into marketing unlicensed. Including the famous slash infamous 7 Grand Dad. He will also provide music from manga games and TV series from Dragon Ball Z to My Hero Academia, including Joho Wizard Adventure and more. He will also provide music from video game where his character originated from, like Hard Times and The Sims 4. Now it's debatable if he'll include some rich MIDI files as well. That all we can say. Stick around for other future projects being worked on, both inside YouTube and outside it. While we have a lot of character on the horizon, not every one of Saints' cat idea was the best thought out. Let's check out the scrapped and replaced that almost had the chance. We'll also check out the rejected characters that was suggested, but never stood the chance, due to either breaking the Saints cat submission rules or being too similar to another character that already in the tournament. It's time to check out all of the idea that was sadly scrapped and those that was badly rejected. The six scrapped character can be resuggested if anyone know how to improve on the character. While the six rejected will be removed from the suggestion doc page, allowing the person to send a replacement request before the final four appears. Scrapped characters. Infinite, the Jackal, with a Phantom Ruby, would show he would be the most dangerous person in the tournament, even back then when he was planned in the original tournament last year. He would provide Sonic music including Sonic Forces and Sonic Adventure 2. He would also provide boss theme in video games and edgy rock music. He was unfortunately scrapped as he would possibly be voted just for Sonic Forces music instead of any other Sonic related tunes, giving on the large bundle of infinite boss fight music used in the channel. He was eventually replaced by Spectre, who also was originally planned to hold boss related music before getting a change of source. He wouldn't be the only Sonic character to be scrapped now. Right then, the Master Swordsman from the Metal Gear series was planned along with Infinite to be in the first tournament, not only scrapped once but twice as well. He would provide some music from the Metal Gear series along with Konami games. He would also provide some heavy metal from his game as well and would possibly include mixes involving Swordsman. He was scrapped due to how difficult some of the Metal Gear Rising music was however difficult to work with due to how loud it is, making finding starting point difficult. This is also possibly due to how Konami then screw up lately following the whole firing Hideo Kojima controversy that left Konami in a bad spot, even more after the release of the badly panned Metal Gear Survive game. He would then be replaced strangely by Michael Jordan and the heavy metal music would be used for Beavis and Butthead. The cube from Just Shapes and Beats would be flying into the contest to bring out some fresh tunes. He would provide remixes of video game and would have music from the Just Shapes and Beats game series which mean lots of copyright tunes like Milky Way and Close to Me. He was scrapped when after one of the suggested character turned out to be a better pick for the role, the character being the red virus antagonist Blixer, who share all of the sources as the cube, with a benefit that Blixer is more than a simple square. Knuckles the Echidna, the other scrapped Sonic character in the tournament, would be punching through, originally planned on having a hat and gold chain as outside of providing Sonic music. From the Sonic series, he would provide video game rap and hip-hop tunes. 
However, due to the difficulty of keeping the hat on Knuckles, he would then be replaced by Parappa the Rapper, who provided more potentials than Knuckles, in terms of not only having hip-hop tunes but music based on rhythm games. Strumpole 8 The Marionette Showman, from 1940s Pinocchio, would put up a show, by providing music from Disney game and movies, depending on the copyright tunes. He would also provide music, from movie villains Disney and non-Disney as well, as greedy characters like Mr. Crab and Money Peg. And would be based on the YouTube poop, like Wiz Off. He was scrapped out due to sharing similar trait to Thano from C.I. Gunner King, for another day tournament, as well as having one of the source similar to the Scallions. He was then removed from the tournament and was replaced by Hang Hill. And lastly the one with the most planned on him, the Snatcher, from Hat in Time, would haunt into the lineup. Providing Son, from the Hat in Time as well as a DLC, while also providing haunting tunes from spooky level like Lavender Town, from Pokemon or Blue Town, from Ape Escape 3, as well as music from the Underworld. However he was scrapped due to the maximum difficulty of how his trailer would look, due to Saint's cat not so fresh voice acting as well as sharing one of the similar source to Johnny Get. He was replaced by one of the newcomer that will be revealed later on. Now the time to see the rejected fan suggested character who will be removed the from suggestion doc page, which will again give the people the chance to post one more before the page will be permanently closed once in time to announce the final four. Rejected characters. Waluigi, requested by Jorge Kurtz, was added due to Waluigi popularity and would possibly provide Mario related tune like Waluigi Pinball but was quickly rejected instantly, due to Waluigi already being in C.I. Gunner King for a date tournament, which was one of the rules. This was also the reason why Papyrus, Sans' brother, was removed from the tournament that left Sans going solo. Candace Flynn, from Phineas and Ferb into the Second Dimension, was requested by Brandon Fontaine, being based on her Second Dimension design. She would provide music, based on being a secret agent like GoldenEye07, along with military music as well. She was rejected now due to sharing some trait to Glob, who is also a secret agent, along with being unsure on how to work with this version of Candace who, despite being based on her normal counterpart in this show, only had one appearance in the series. Sherry Jan, one of the character from Strawberry Shortcake, been rapidly requested by Cosmic Sunshine, had somewhat keep creeping her way into the list despite multiple rejection. She would provide music that seemed around space, which Spectre already provided. She kept being rejected for the same reason as no preschool related character from any preschool show like Strawberry Shortcake was allowed due to this not being a baby channel. Saint's Cat is 25 after all. Ian Lightfoot, from 2020 onward, was planned to be the youngest character in term of source, as he would provide music, based on fairy tales and sci-fi, again with Spectre already providing the sci-fi part. He was rejected now due to onward being too recent to include a character on, along with the fact that the movie haven't been doing good, even more due to the coronavirus closing theater. Along with the fact that Ian would probably be similar to Stromboli in term of Disney character source, who was already scrapped. Gretsuko, the Red Panda, from Agretsuko was requested by DJ Silverwing three times, providing music that center around heavy death metal music as well as scary ambient tunes in video game. However she didn't reject multiple times as even now she would have potential, she was replaced by Beavis and Butthead who was requested by the Saints Cat brother and would have a heavy metal music in their lineup. This is also due to Retsuko having some frustrating music that make trying to make Mash of the Nightmare on. Shrek was the most recent post to join the tournament. Requested by Will Moralfi, with the only soundtrack that was provided was soundtrack from video games and movie from the Shrek series. He was scrapped out due to the fact that Shrek would be too easy to include and would cheat his way into gaining all the votes. Even when including the whole meme source, would be useless as Glob already have the meme music in his source. Well that all the scrapped and rejected character to share. 
While there are some that was also scrapped and rejected like New Days from WWE and Gunther from Chick Butowski, they were either too minor and haven't been provided much idea or wasn't really requested on the dock and was instead requested on the Death Battle fan and wikia. Still the Saints cat will be open to new ideas and will do everything to provide the best for his viewers. Time to see a quick preview on the GMOB video for the Falling Scouts collab by Snapshot the Manhatter. Hopefully it will be done before the end of May. Now let us take a look at a YouTube boot being worked on as well. With more that will be added later on. This one being based on Kadikara's review of Pepsi Man. Entitled Caddy in the Awkward Pepsi Encounter. I think someone's watching me. I'll save you! Ah! Oh, that's why they sent me a white beep. This video has been very kindly sponsored today by Bubsy 3D on the PS1. Because who doesn't want to be Bubsy and control what Bubsy do to save the world? I mean, just take those few examples I mentioned earlier. Bubsy. Okay, cut it out! Bubsy. We get it. You've been in lots of games. We're very, very proud of you. Now, please get out. Fine, I will. <laughs> This is what happens when Slenderman looks like a kiwi fruit with arms and legs that had its hair shaved off. Oh! As for his superpowers though, he can throw cans of radioactive Pepsi piss. Gross! But who cares? It's 2020 and I finally get to play a game released on my PSP. Oh, what was that? Oh, I know that music. Where is he? Where is he? Oh god, I really don't like this. Is he gonna jump out at us or something? Nope! Now this, this, is what you call a menu. You know, I'm so glad that a big, random, sweaty American guy in my Japanese exclusive PS1 game about a faceless, muscly tin man representing Pepsi told me that the game could start. Why are we waiting on his permission? I mean, what's the point of living if you can't drink- oh! You son of a- Here are future planned YouTube booth as well. These are for later on, for after the tournament when Saints Cat have more time on his hands. Now let's check out the plan for the sub channel. Video game soundtrack swapping. Here are what currently being planned or worked on. that about all the time we have for now. While there is more to tell in other project, they are for outside YouTube and have no connection to the Saints Cat channel. Hope that everyone had a great time and enjoyed the stream. Remember to stay safely inside, keep yourself cleaned up and keep your distance. Take care and keep on requesting.